Um, and I'll kind of do something like uh, something like that. Maybe it doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to ma match it perfectly. If you want to match perfectly, then definitely do this. But um, yeah, all right. So that looks fine the way that it is. And the K needs to be pulled up. All right, there we go. So that looks good uh, for the word Pokemon. Move it about right there. Sure. Okay. Uh, nice. Now we have the E. We can move the E where it's supposed to go. I keep hitting H to hide things. Uh, e, -E, e and then this needs to be converted as well. So convert to mesh surf meta text. Um, and then hit G to move it down in edit mode, then move it back up. Same thing with the MON. Uh, these do not have to be separate um, because we're not going to be doing anything with them separately. So we'll just, uh, what was I doing? Convert to, yes, there we go. Uh, and actually, they do need to be separate because the MO is going to, they're going to overlap each other like that. So let's go ahead and undo that. Put a little bit of space, um, delete that, duplicate the M, put an O. <laughs> You see, because this, this font is so strange, it won't let it do it by itself. So we'll just have to do it by hand. And then we'll just double tap, move it where it needs to go in the center, the origin. And then the same thing with the O. Convert to, there we go. Move it to the center. Put that O where it belongs, which is about right there. And then the same thing with the N. For the last one, convert to, uh, select it all, move it down, move it back up. All right, so that looks good. The way that it is, it looks very similar to the font that we have over there on the left-hand side. I will go ahead and just get rid of both of these. Um, I'll duplicate the word Poe, and we'll just kind of select all of them, just because why not? You know, all the other ones are separate. We might as well, you know, so we'll just delete that O. Oh, no, 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 no. We'll delete that O, and then move this in the center so it's a P by itself. And then we'll just select all of these vertices. I hit C to go into Brush Select, delete those vertices move the O over. Now every single letter is separate. I like having them separate because we can always modify them later. I want to rotate that P, scale it up by hitting S a little bit, G to move it down, uh, and that looks pretty good the way that it is. Alright, so that looks pretty good. I like it. I love it. And uh, we'll select all these, rotate it a little bit more. Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay, that K and E is too rotated. There we go. Okay, so that looks good. Now the way we're going to do this, we can do this a couple different ways. Um, if we really wanted to take the hassle of actually remodeling this text here, we could do that. Um, we could use the knife tool and then just knife these away. So we'll go ahead and, and create a, a, a cut there. And let's actually turn on um, wire frame mode so we can see where the E, it, the e lays so we can kind of cut around it. Um, let's go ahead and use the knife tool here. Um, and we'll just click once right about there and then once about right there. And then we'll just kind of follow it around in a really chunky way. Um, like there, all the way around until we connect back up to the edge. And then we can just uh, hit enter. And then we just delete those faces. So if I go out of wireframe mode, you can see, go to wireframe mode, you can see, nope, if I get rid of the knife tool as well, uh, hit delete, face, delete, face. Now we have that little indent there, but it's not the smoothest thing. So we can go ahead and fix that up by kind of. Um, either one, we can subdivide these, so we can select all these vertices, and then we can uh, right-click, subdivide, and then we'll just move the, no, we'll just hit G to move these vertices to, to soften that transition between each one of them, like this, so just G, hit G to move them, this one's not down far enough, uh, G to move them around, and now you can see it's much softer transition, which is nicer. We can do this for every single one of the letters that have the intersection here, so we have the O and the K as well, so we'll select the K, go back to wireframe, uh, hit tab to go into edit mode, select the knife tool, and then we just click once right there, and then we'll just follow this all the way around in a really rough, kind of chunky, blocky kind of style here, all the way around. Don't worry about the other vertices and other faces. Hit enter, and then we'll go back to solid viewport shading, delete faces, and then we can go back out of knife tool and select all of these edges here. Hold down shift, select, 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 and select. Go ahead and right click, subdivide, and now we have the ability to use, oh, no, we don't need this piece right here. So we can hit delete vertices, um, and then we'll just subdivide that again. All right, so now we can just soften all of this transition because it's too harsh in some areas. And you get the picture by now. You can probably go ahead and do all the, the rest of the letters the same way, and then I will be back 
once we are finished doing that, so all the way around, make sure the thickness remains similar to the same. Uh, if you want to have them the same, if you want to have different, then it's fine. Don't have to worry about that. But um, I want to go ahead and actually merge these together because there's too many vertices in this. Actually, we'll just move, we'll just spread them out so we can use them instead of having to subdivide some more. So let's go the way that is. All right, so we'll just do that. All right, yeah. yeah so I'm gonna finish the rest of these and then I'll be back uh, once I am done uh, smoothing the rest of the transitions and cutting all the pieces away that we do not need. Alrighty, so I have finished all of the uh, cutouts for the edges. Some of them. Ooh. Wait a second. Oh, that's right. That's good because we because uh, they need to be on the same level. So that's fine. We'll go ahead and do that now. I should have did that before because uh, some of these might be messed up. But we'll go ahead and make sure these are all on negative on zero for the y value here. Um, hopefully they're not too messed up when I'm finished doing this. So if I go back, yep, they're they're fine. They're fine. They're fine. Good. All right. So now we can go ahead and take a look. I do want to separate these a little bit more because I want the thicknesses to be a bit more. So we'll go ahead and move all of them over. We'll hold down Shift, select them all until I'm fine with the thickness of the cutouts, which looks about good right about there. Um, that looks pretty good. Yeah, sweet. All right, so now we have all of those ready to go. We can go ahead and select them all. Now go to the Materials tab, add a new material. Once again, this material will be actually... Do I want them to be... I don't, because I want this to glow. So we will choose... Uh, well, I, well, I dropped the color about right there, and I want to make it a bit more blue. Because that's not the, what that color is. Sometimes the pixels, you know, sometimes it's an off pixel and it just looks like that's the one that it is, but it's not. We'll go ahead and do something like that. Hex value is 76CAFF. If that looks good anyway, we'll go to the rendered viewport shading. We will hit uh, Control, nope, not Control I. We'll hit Control L, uh, link materials. And now we can see if we go back into the camera's view, we will set this up about where it goes, which it looks like. We'll hit S to scale it up a little bit. That looks pretty good right about there maybe move it over a little bit uh... yeah sure looks pretty good now the O is a bit too big and I wish I would have noticed that before but the both of the O's are actually too big so we'll just scale it down just we'll try and get away with that see if we can just scale it down just a little bit move it in and then move the P over I think that's a little bit better anyway you know they're a bit too big I didn't notice before go ahead and do something like that now those aren't exactly perfect but it's better than nothing maybe a little bit bigger rotate it a little bit all right, so that's that's fine. Shh, don't tell anybody. All right, now for the little uh, the little little piece over the E, little carry, um, we have uh, we're gonna add Shift A, we're gonna add a plane, R R R X, sorry, ninety, and then we'll just uh, scale this by hitting S S Z S X S Z S X, and then we'll hit G to move it over, right above the E here. R R Y to rotate it a little bit, and we'll just hit Tab to go into edit mode. Grab this little piece. Hit G, move it down, and then we'll just rotate it until we have it to where we want it to be, about right there, I suppose. And then we'll just select the same material we just created for the Pokemon, which is uh, which is four, uh, right there. We can actually name this. We can call it uh, uh, Pokemon, so we don't get confused. We can name all the materials here. So we'll select the detective letter blue, and then we'll call this uh, detective, detective, and then we'll select the white color, and then we'll call this. Uh, detect, nope, de detect, no, nope, detective, oh my gosh, I can't type, detective, um, edge, right, and then the yellow, we can call this Pika, <laughs> and then we'll call the black, Pika Black, there we go, alright, so now we have a name for all of the materials, we know what's going on, um, with them, so, uh, we can go ahead and with the, uh, with the, with the Pokemon colors, we can go ahead and change from principal BSDF to emission, and then we will change that color back to similar to what we had it, I'm looking at the text here, and then I want to turn the strength up to about three, and then we'll change the color some more, about right there, I guess, for the time being, anyway, um, but see, when we turn the bloom on, it's going to look like that. And I don't want it to look like that because that's too teal-like. So we'll go ahead and just blue it up a little bit. Blue it up. About right there looks good. We'll turn the strength to 5 so that the the actual words are brighter. That looks good. Um, and maybe not that blue. Yeah, there we go. All right, so the bloom is a bit too big right now, but that's fine. Um, it's too intense as well. So we'll turn it down to about right there maybe... And I think that's still a little too tealish, but you know, it is, it's what it is.